Today we're going to talk about 1998 Monaco Dynasty. It's a way above condition in, the, uh, in the, its shape, the uh, mechanical condition, the exterior condition. Let's start from front. You have a 7,500 watts on on generator. The windshields are free from any chips or crack in very good condition. Uh, let's take a look at the compartment where you could open the uh, generator. It has another switch inside as well. So you just push button out and that simple as that just push up a button the generator comes out it has about 1400 hours uh runs excellent uh let's try to turn it on here and show it to you you can turn it on from outside as well as inside that's the first time i cranked up this morning that's normal for a diesel engine to uh let's get that thing back in all right so push up a button it goes back in Uh, take a look at the compartment. See how clean the compartments are? That's how the whole rest of the coach is in good shape. I have a, two sets of keys to turn those, uh, close the compartment doors. Uh, let's take a look at the tires. They were installed in 06. They have less than 20,000 miles. Uh, take a look at it closely. There's no dry rotted crack on them. They're in good shape. You can change front two tires. It'll cost you somewhere around 1500 bucks, or maybe less than that if you get a... Uh, this is a Goodyear tires. You could get some Chinese tires that are a little cheaper if you prefer to. Uh, let's take a look at it inside here. Clean compartments. Very clean. No rust. It's a California and a South Carolina coach. Walking on the side. Uh, take a look at the shine on the outside. Beautiful gel coat exterior. Uh, full body paint. This white is not a fiberglass. This is gel coat painted surface. You have a window awning on living room area in the back you have a both bedroom windows have uh awnings really good feature for summer heat or at the beach wherever it protects and keeps it cool wet maze here dually there again they're all matching goodyear tires all the way around alco aluminum wheels step through this little narrow area you have a side mount radiator with the rear access to the engine very friendly for maintenance if you wanted to change build or something you want to do or even your mechanic would love it the rear access to isc 350 i'm sorry 325 isc cummings turbo diesel you have a 10,000 pound towing capacity reese type 3 hitch versus some of the old 90s motorhome they have only 5,000 pound towing capacity you could tow a lot more on here uh ladder to go up top has a one-piece fiberglass roof on top no water leaks whatsoever Let's take a look at the shine on the uh, both walls. This is a pest inside wall. It's a glazing, shiny, slick and shiny exterior. We have a good batteries. They're big bus batteries. They're in good shape. Don't need a jump or anything like that. Uh, again, tires are good here all the way around. No dry rotted cracks. We have a window awning as I mentioned earlier on the other side. Window awnings on both sides for bedroom window. Cloth awning for patio. In really good shape no pinholes or tears or no issues over here you have a couple of compartments for deep belly storage clean very clean motorhome uh, no rust spots no sign of any abuse over here behind 10 gallon water heater you have inverter uh, 2000 watts inverter slide out tray Obviously, this uh, post hole digger and a little uh, FedEx box don't go with the coach. It's something else. Nice feature having a little slide out tray for storage. And listen to this the doors, they shut. If you would compare this coach with some other coaches like Fleetwood, I'm not trying to put down any Fleetwood. I sell Fleetwood as well. Monaco has a little bit better quality construction. Over here, you have a LP gas tank. Let's come up front. Again, you can take a look at the Goodyear tire. No dry rotted cracks. Lots of trades. Lots of trade left. All right, let's stop, step in this coach. Has an entrance awning. As you can see, it keeps you cool. Let's step in this coach. I think we're gonna remove our shoes to walk in. The best part is it's got a wood floor. Originally, it came with a carpet. We changed the carpet and the entrance on the side, but it's when you walk in where your feet touches the uh, 
surface it's, it's a wood so you have a wood everywhere and a very nice job and let's take a look at this way I mean look at it it's beautiful the wood is engineered wood that matches wrist the cabinetry beautiful coach starting with the cockpit area we have a backup monitor exhaust brakes six-speed Allison three-point leveling jack system Sony stereo with a 10 disc changer oh look at the dash no cracks whatsoever really good shape even the privacy curtain has no condensation any kind of a stain that proves the previous owner took pride in owning this motorhome beautiful right here you got a, a regular uh, TV for about three four hundred dollars I have RV tech can professionally install 32 inch TV uh, professionally fabricated and installed LED TV or you could go buy one for two hundred dollars and put one there uh, has a VCR up here by the way it has a uh, some type of a um, uh, dome dish a satellite dish has another controller over here uh, there you go it's a wind guard it's a wind guard rotate turn off it all it's got a satellite dish on top let's take a look at the driver's seat the pilot seat is powered leather is not in any excessive uh, wear no tears or no rips co-pilot seat same way it's powered uh, good good condition here on your passenger side you have a nice little office desk with a recliner leather sofa I want you to look at this very carefully right here it's got receipts of service and parts um, goes back in this folder here is an engine and transmission service receipts for RV parks where they have camped very organized fashion all the books and records right here even the previous owner had a checklist for moving RV checklist for towing a car a very detailed person on the motor on two sets of keys all right let's go look at here this is a very long sofa so you could have a person six feet two inches I'm six feet tall and I can lay down in here so uh, it opens up jack knives into the bed has a couple of seat belts back there over here you have a standalone ice maker Korean countertops beautiful Monaco's uh, wooden cabinet where you got a convection oven dual sinks Paul, come here. Take a turn on this uh, sink. Got two burner gas stove. I have my 10 year old daughter helping me to do this video. She's doing a great job. Deep storage here is not just a little spice rack. You could put some canned foods here. Lots of storage up here. Some storage here with a sliding pantry or sliding trays. What not have you? You've got a cutting board that comes out. You've got a knife holder in here. Monaco does a fabulous job with their uh, wooden cabinetry. Over here, we have an extension leaf already installed in the in the uh, dinette area. You could take this extension off and store these two uh, chairs back in the bedroom area there's a coat closet to store this stuff so it could have two person can eat or four you have a nice lights a dinner lights uh, over here you got a cool matic fan uh, when you're cooking some heavy duty uh, food or something or frying or something you can take this open and uh, turn a big exhaust fan on a four-door refrigerator here nice four-door refrigerator runs on LP gas or electric power uh, this thing needs a couple of screws I'll take care of that uh, walk in the center part of the coach we even have a, some drawers here I mean they have used very smart they have not wasted any space this is another about uh, two feet deep or feet and a half deep uh, nice pantry center part of the coach you have a Corian countertops with a lots of uh, uh, counter space to put all your makeup stuff or whatnot have you or shaving cream or whatnot have you you got a nice size medicine cabinet so more drawers here more floor more space here under it glass enclosed shower 
uh, glass enclosed shower. Take a look at the uh, ceiling. No water stain whatsoever. That proves that motorhome was well kept. No water leaks. And the older motorhome, water leaks are not a bad thing unless you just uh, ignore it and don't take care of it. It'll rot the uh, ceilings out in a solid floor, solid ceiling. You have a private toilet on this side. And it's a nice sized private toilet. And it's a uh, ceramic, not a plastic. This is a Monaco Dynasty. Not a cheap bounder or discovery. I sell those as well. They're a little cheaper. This is constructed a little bit better. Solid wall everywhere. No sign of any water problem, leaks. But if you're looking on the internet, be careful. Don't compare the prices. There, there's a particular uh, uh, motorhomes on the internet. They're bank repo. They've been ignored and, and they're a piece of junks. Uh, I hate to use that word, but they're cheap. And the cheap motorhomes are not always good. This is slide out tray, washer dry, not even a speck of a rust. I've seen some mud on with the rust, rust coming around, just the owner didn't take care of it. Very clean, very clean. Uh, back in the bedroom, we have a hardwood floor again. When we did the new floor, I also had a carpet change. So old carpet is not anywhere, it's all new floor, except that bathroom area. I left the original uh, tile, has a couple of hair cracks, very hard to see. But I left the ceramic tile in the bathroom and toilet area for a reason. All right, come back here. We have a plenty of room to walk around. We have some closet space, a deep coat closet, some more closets here, closets all the way around, closets here, have a nice, a uh, mirror for the backdrop of a bed area. These are your circuit breakers and 12 volt circuitry. And uh, over here, let's go over here and uh, show you guys uh, each and every day and night shade. Take a look at it. No stain of a Coca Cola or a sweet tea or leaving the windows open where water can come in or condensation. It's not a perfect coach, but it just tells you the motorhome was well capped. The all day and night shades are not, they, they look new, but they're original, just well kept. Over here, you got another closet. Some drawers for jewelry or whatnot have you. Some more closet up here. Well, we're almost done with this video on this 1998 1998 Monaco Dynasty 40 foot with a slide out in a great shape. Give me a call for any questions. 864 404 0054. Nice mirror that shuts the door here. I forgot to mention that. And also, you have a sliding door to uh, close your bedroom and give a privacy. So, you got two sliding doors here. Thank you again for watching my video presentation of this 1998 Monaco Dynasty in a road and camp ready shape. Give me a call for any question, 864-404-0054. I have a lean, free, clear title in my hand. You can come camp in this mud home for a night, and then you can say you want to buy it. Thank you again, and look forward to doing business with you. Have a great day.